Genesis 3, verses 8 through 13. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit of the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. Fight or flight. We've all heard about this, and most likely seen this in a pet or some wild animal on the Discovery Channel. But do we recognize this in ourselves? As soldiers and airmen and women, we have been trained in how to fight and win battles. We have our warrior ethos and so much more. But what about when it comes to conflict or issues of communication with those that we work with or those people that we love and hold dearly in our hearts? We train our bodies and we know their capabilities, but when it comes to our communication or when we have conflict, we often don't look deeper at ourselves or seek to understand why we respond the way that we do. So I encourage you to look at yourself in the mirror for just a second and take a little time to think about how you resolve conflict. Are you prone to flight like Adam was here to deflect the responsibility within the conflict? Adam was confronted saying, what happened here? And instead of saying, yeah, I might have messed up, he turns and instead points at his wife and says, it was her. And then he points at God and says, it was also you because you put her in my life. And then he slowly tries to back away as everything happens. And so are you like that, trying to slowly back away, place that responsibility or of a mistake on someone else when you had a role in it? Let's be honest with ourselves about how we respond to conflict and look to grow and improve. Let's pray. Lord, help us to reflect and look within ourselves and to recognize how we can improve our communication and conflict. Lord, give us strength and wisdom to grow and help us in times of conflict to be wise and to recognize our tendencies and weaknesses. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And if you didn't identify with the flight part of fight or flight, come back next week for the fight part of fight or flight. Have a great day, Wisconsin.